All right, what's everybody? What's up, everybody? I'm here with uh, Maya and Scarlett as they're feverishly trying to get Tay Tay tickets, which legit is more important than the conjugate root theorem. And I couldn't be more honest about that. The conjugate root theorem, it's actually kind of helpful. It's not that important. It, maybe it was at some point. Um, what is a conjugate? Well, the best thing I can do is just show you an example. So the conjugate to x plus 3 is x minus 3, okay? The conjugate to 3 plus radical 2 is 3 minus radical 2. The conjugate to 2 minus 6i is 2 plus 6i. So the conjugate, uh, it leaves the, the, the sign on the first term the same, but it switches the sign on the second term. And it involves binomials. Okay, so what does the conjugate root theorem say? Let's say it says if you have a polynomial equation, so that's like x to the a plus uh, bx to the a minus one plus cx to the a minus two dot dot dot. That's just the type of equations we've been having in this whole unit. If you have that and one of the solutions is a plus radical b. Then another solution is a minus radical b. Okay. It also says if you have a polynomial equation and one of the solutions is a plus bi, then another solution is a minus bi. So what it says is when you have complex or these are complex, this should be an i. If you have complex roots, that should be a plus. I'm sorry. Internet is bad in this little section. If you have complex roots, then the conjugate is also a solution. Or if you have irrational roots, then it's conjugate is also a solution. Basically, these types of answers are always going to come in pairs. That's what it says. That's all that it says. Boom.